Good morning, everyone. So we're going to start vlogging. Sometimes I can be quite kind of impulsive. Um, and I'll be thinking about something and thinking about it. And then I'm like, let's do it. So I feel like I want to kind of reinvent my content, make it a little more exciting for me to film, but also allowing me to be more consistent with you all. And I also just want to be more not authentic like i'm not authentic but i just want to be more real and i guess when i use the term authentic like you all see more of me and just what my life is like behind the camera and um this year i have really been working on stepping away from the idealism of needing to be perfect that's a whole nother conversation but let's just say that the majority of my teenage years all through adulthood i've had this feeling that i've needed to be perfect that i am the one that people look to to be perfect um and that's more so in my personal life and so this year i've been working on stepping away from that and realizing that perfection is not reality and that's okay because perfection is not the goal it should not be the goal <laughs> um so i feel like vlogging might be the key to that i've been so so anti-vlogging um and i think a big part of it is because i wasn't a big vlogger watcher myself and then too i felt like it was so beyond my scope it felt like so much work like am i going to be able to do this and i am not an aesthetically pleasing type of person like i don't feel like my content that i make looks like that and like I just didn't and probably still don't feel like I'll do it well, but you never know unless you try. I think back to the days when like reels first became popular and I was like, I would never do that because I can't. And now I do reels like, like it's nothing. I love them. So maybe this is the new way of my channel. Um, I'm not making any promises because I have to figure this thing out. Number one, I've got to get a vlogging camera um, or I don't have to. I want to. Right now I'm filming on my phone, but I feel like I just want to step up my content and um, make it better for you all. And so there's a lot of things I want to do. There's a lot of money to be spent that I really don't want to spend, but you know, you got to spend the money to get the outcome that you want so i would like a vlogging camera i would also like to start editing on better software right now i use imovie on my phone and that has done very well for me the whole how long have i been on youtube eight years i've been on youtube so it's been doing well for me but they, there's just things that i want to do i want like i said my content to look better um so i know i need to step up my editing software for that and all the things so we're gonna do a little bit of a vlog today but you know like I said we got to start somewhere I'd love your feed your feedback and your tips especially if you're a vlog watcher or if you are a vlogger yourself I'm open to all types of feedback because I want to learn I want to get good at this and especially if you all like it I want to make sure it's content that you enjoy watching so that's my little opening. Um, oh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I am a beauty content creator slash maybe getting into some lifestyle. And I've been on this platform for eight years and we might be trying something new. Um, I'm home today with the baby because she is sick. We don't know what's wrong with her. She woke up with a fever. Well, not woke up with a fever. Um, she woke up yesterday fine and then Yesterday afternoon, my husband called me when I went out to get lunch, and he's like, she's got a fever of 103. Um, yeah, Sean called me yesterday when I went to go get lunch, and he's like, she has a fever of 103. She woke up fine yesterday playing all the things, so I am not sure what's going on. Um, but we're home today with her. I'm hoping that whatever it is, I felt like it's a virus. And if you're like me, I hate a virus because you just have to let it work its way out. Instead of, if it's a bacterial infection, we get an antibiotic. And then like 24 to 40 hours, we're like good to go. So I think it's a virus. Um, and yeah, so I'm hoping in a couple of days she feels better. Um, I gave her some 
Tylenol around five something. Um, so I will probably give her some Motrin. I've been alternating Motrin and Tylenol every four hours. I'm gonna get her some breakfast. She said she wants some waffle. You want a waffle? Yeah. You want a waffle? It's all gone. It's all gone? Yeah. Do you want some cereal? Okay, so we're gonna get some cereal and then we're gonna relax. Maybe take a nap. I am exhausted, so I have a very no, bad habit. Okay, well, you won't take a nap. I am exhausted. I have a very bad habit of staying up very late. And so this morning I was up until 2 a.m. And then Sean had to fly out early for work this morning. So I was back up again, probably like 4.45. He left around 5. And I have not gone back to sleep. So <laughs> that's why I look like this. But we're going to get our day started. So we are in my makeup room. We have so much to clean up. Let me show you. So here is my makeup room. If you've never seen it before, let's take a quick little tour. So we have fragrances all over here. I really should probably adhere that to the wall. Let me shut this door right here. I should probably adhere <laughs> this bookshelf to the wall so it doesn't topple over, but um, yeah, it's been working well for us for over a year, so we're going to keep that there for a moment. Um, and then here's a little sitting area. I tried to make it nice and cute. We move over here. Oh, move that chair out of the way. So move over here. More fragrances. And then just like miscellaneous stuff. That is a bag of stuff that... Oh, so, funny story about this. The girls, uh, well, Emma had makeup in her room that I gave her and she did not do a good job of keeping the makeup off the carpet. So Sean was like, makeup's gotta go. <laughs> so that's her bag of makeup. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, and then anatomy and physiology book, random Dior box, and just like random stuff here that I'm keeping, but I don't really have a place for it just yet. Or I should say this is the place for it. I just need to probably tidy it up so it looks better um over here is where i keep my uh what do you call this ring light not ring light but my studio light bags here this is my flat iron this is my dyson here is a pain that madison made me madison is my oldest um i don't even know when she made this or was it emma uh this might actually have been made from Emma, now that I'm thinking of it, because I see her name right here. But these are some paintings that the girls made me, so I have really nowhere, I don't really know where I want to put them yet, but I don't want to give them up. Um, for my party, here is a picture that I had up at my 40th birthday party. And then, did I tell you guys I'm on a billboard in LA? I'm actually on five billboards in LA. How amazing is that? Um, so I got a picture of it so I could keep it forever. And um, I had this one up at my party as well. So this is my keepsake because obviously I don't live in LA. I can't go out there and just keep seeing this all the time. So here is my keepsake of that. Here's my mini stepper, which I really do love. And then this was a bag that I had in my car. I need to put it back in my bag. I used to go on walks um after work so i'll keep this in my car i'll quickly show y'all what's in it this bag i got from say when they sent over i think when they sent over their bronzers and I, I think it's really cute you could actually even use it as like a cute little purse so in here i have some hair lotion just in case like if my walk got a little sweaty and I still had to do some running around after my walk. Here are some oops, Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads by Peach and Lily. These are great for like refreshing the skin. So once again, if I got really hot 
while I was walking and I wanted to just kind of cleanse my skin really quick, you could do, you could use these for that. Um, some honey pot, feminine wipes, you know, cause it gets kind of hot. Here is another uh, Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pad. This is a single one, I think. Oh no, no, six came in here. So I've used a couple so far. Some deodorant for refreshing. I love um, aluminum deodorants. I've been aluminum free. I said I love aluminum deodorants. I meant aluminum free deodorants. I've been aluminum free now for maybe five or six years. This one by Method is pretty decent. Doesn't keep me all day, but it's a good refresher deodorant. So we've got that. Um, the Peach and Lily Glass Veil Mist. Glass Skin Veil Mist. I really like this for um, just refreshing the skin and it leaves a nice glow. We have my soap. Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 68 fragrance. This is my favorite fragrance from the brand. I love the body lotion as well. And then um, SPF, especially if I'm walking outside and it's hot um, or the sun is just out and I, and it's been like, like I said, if it's like end of day, so I already know my SPF from the morning is already gone. Put this on and then just a brush, you know, to kind of keep the edges down. So it's my little, kit um clearly though if we're in the house that means we have not been using it so i have not been taking my walks outside that's a whole other conversation remember when i used to come up here and get the updates about my health and fitness yeah let's just say we gotta get back on that because we definitely got off track okay moving on here is a this is just Y'all, this is just a collection of stuff. Um, Mothership palette cartridges. I really want to throw these out. Is that wrong that I just want to throw them out? I don't, I'm not going to use them. And I mean, are they collector's items? Let me know. But I'm like this close to just throwing them out. Here was, um, or here is, <laughs> it's so cute. When I did the LYSBD campaign, they had like a little um, newspaper and we held this in the clip. If I can find one, I'll insert the clip of me holding this while we were doing the campaign. So here's my little um, keepsake from that. And then up here, y'all look what I have that I don't use. An actual camera that I bought, that I could be using, that I'm going to use. I told you guys I want to step up my content, so I'm going to start with the camera that I have. Um, I have used it literally just for Zoom calls, and that's it. So I've never filmed on it, don't know how to work it. I feel so lost. I literally feel like a baby lamb trying to use this. But we're going to put on our big girl pants, and we're going to figure out how to use this because I feel like this will at least get me started. Um, with making better looking quality content. Here's where I call the Glam Girl Chelsea store. So this is where I get, this is where I put new makeup that I get that I haven't used yet, that I want to use. Um, some of this I'm probably going to give away, but we've got that. And then down here is just stuff. And then these are my color fix boxes. Over here is where <laughs> the tobacco is and remains. So I'll show you a picture of what it looks like at my party. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put it up on this wall since this is the wall that you see when you first walk into my room. So I'm gonna put this on the floor because clearly I can't hold all of these pieces up in the air. So the theme of the party was it's a Glam Girl Chelsea affair. So I'm gonna hang this signage right there. And I think that'll be cute when like you walk in, you'll see that I'm gonna probably, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the stuff up here or if I'm gonna move it once I put the sign up, you know, cause I want to make sure it doesn't look like too cluttered, but that's why we're keeping this. These boxes right here so this box this box right here and then that white box there um and then 
this orange box. I need to donate this makeup so bad. I've kept it because I found a women's charity that I wanted to donate it to. Um, and then I actually found another charity that I was like, oh, this is a church that um, I do a lot of, um, what do you call it? The girls and I and Sean do a lot of volunteerism because they're, they're a huge community-based church. So then I was like, oh, I'd rather give it to them, you know, since I know that they have already partnered with um, different people in Charlotte and life has just gotten busy and I just have not made the time to meet with the people to give it to them. But I'm definitely going to do it because I want to give it away. It's just been sitting here. Um, some of this makeup, actually a lot of this makeup I have already used. So I need to figure out if they can take the used makeup. Like when I say use, like gently use. Um, if they can't, then I guess I'll just have to toss it. I don't want to, but at the same time, you know, I get it. I don't want anybody to feel like they have to take used makeup or, you know, I respect the decision to not take used makeup. So that's what I mean by that. Um, we've got some new makeup here. This is from Makeup Forever. I have the new powders by Tower 28. I went on ahead and opened this up so y'all could see it. We've got the new eyeliners from Kosas. Makeup Forever sent over a really, really beautiful package. Um, early September of their new powders, their loose powders. So they have their new HD skin setting powder. We have, um, they sent a, another one of their matte velvet powder foundation, which I love this, I already have this. And I'm still working through it. They sent some refills of their HD skin foundation, oh, the original one. So, oh goodness. Um, my shade is 3Y52. And so 3Y56 is a little too deep, so I'll find a home for And then, um, which I probably already have it up here. Yeah, it's up here. They also sent some lipsticks. Let me stand up so y'all can see. They also sent some lipsticks and their new lip liners. And then this Artist on the Go eyeshadow palette, which is so cute. I want to use this. Um, so I might use this in a vlog. This box, uh, I think I just need to toss this box. That's a bag of stuff that I need to figure out what I want to do with that. If I want to donate this stuff or keep it. My makeup artistry stuff is over here. I really need to throw her out because she's broken. And then boxes need to go out. That box over there, I need to send something back. So we're going to keep that. And then let's, let's just walk around over here. Um, you need to be thrown out because you're just trash. <laughs> we have the new Say Glossy Bounce High Shine uh, Lip Oils here. I really enjoy their lip oils and they also sent over their new lip liners. These are really, really, really good. Um, so I just still have these in the PR packaging, but I've used a few of these shades. I really like this formula. The lip liners I have tried once when I did like my initial application. They're very nice and comfortable. So these are really nice. I just need to put them up because keeping them in the box is just not what we need to be doing. And then the grand finale is my desk area, which if you've ever, <laughs> I feel like anytime I show my desk, it's not clean. And this is the life that we live because it just be hard out here for a content creator, a mom, full-time worker, and all the things, and a wife. Like, so let's straighten up this area. Okay, y'all, look at us learning and growing, figuring out things. The lighting is much, much better this way. Now y'all are not blinded by the light, and I feel like y'all can see stuff a whole lot better. See, we're gonna get better at this. The more we do, the more we do, the more we learn, we're gonna get better. So I bought the Fenty Hair, um, the Curl Defining Cream, because I wanted to see how this worked well on my girl's hair, um, especially because they all have really curly hair. I have more wavy hair just because I've flattened my hair, flat ironed my hair a lot, 
but I wanted to see how this worked on their hair. I tried it on, I think it was Riley's hair. This is what the product looks like on the inside. I tried it on Riley's hair and it left some residue. And I don't know if that's just because it's better on like freshly washed hair. I'm not sure. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. This is the mini size because I wanted to see how I liked it. And then I picked up the edge control hair thickening gel. And I like this one. This is really nice. It doesn't leave any white residue. It doesn't make the hair like really stiff and hard. Um, so this is an edge control that I would say you could use probably every day without having like too much residue buildup. So far, I really like it. And both of these products smell so so good in here i have all of my fancy lip products because the bag is fancy and y'all want to see i have so much to catch y'all up on i feel like i had such a busy summer that i just did not do a great job of filming so i picked up the new prada peridot fragrance this is the virtual flower one i really really enjoy this one i picked it up in the travel size because it was over the summer and um we did a lot of traveling this summer so I figured this would be better. Plus I have a lot of fragrances and I don't go through them very fast at all. So I'm always here for like a travel size or a mini size, um, especially when I'm trying to figure out like how much do I like you, but this is a good fragrance. So I'm gonna take her out. We're gonna wash this. And for now, we're just gonna leave the Fenty fragrances in here um, because I just wanna, <laughs> I just want to get this face clean. I mean, ideally, honestly, maybe I should just put this where my lippies are. That means all the way down there. Look at this. Look at this bag. Look, can y'all see? Hold on, let me hold it back. Look at the makeup brushes. Y'all can't even see it. Okay, y'all see this way? Look at all these makeup brushes I need to wash. Don't judge your girl. It's, it's been busy. That's my project. Let's, let's put an estimate. Let's have these makeup brushes washed by end of October. That's the goal. Okay, so we picked up this 50 Skin Butter Drop Mini Trio. Absolutely worth this. If you love the Fenty Skin Butter Drop um, Cream, all three of them have shimmer in it, and these two scents are new. So this is Salted Caramel. When I say it smells like a warm gingerbread cookie with salted caramel on top, it smells so good. This one is Whipped Marshmallow, and this one has, I want to say, like a very light whipped marshmallow scent. So I was thinking this one would be really good to pair with um, my marshmallowy type of fragrances. And I'll show you what it looks like. I bought this last year and I really, really loved it. So when I saw that they had this mini trio again, it was a no-brainer. I had to buy it. 
So I love the original Butter Drop um, formula. And this is the original one, original scent, but it has shimmer in it. And I'll show you, um, hopefully you can see the shimmer. But besides the shimmer, because I didn't really buy it for the shimmer, I bought it for the moisturization. It just moisturizes the skin really, really good. And once this kind of settles into the skin, you can see the shimmer more. It's a very, very, very slight shimmer. Nothing that feels gritty or anything like that. So no glitter particles at all. But this is one of my favorite body butters for sure. Um, so that's why I wanted to get it. Plus I love these because they are 2.5 fluid ounces. So these are great to travel with, especially if you're like me and you never like to check a bag, you only want to just do carry-ons. So I usually only reserve these for traveling or, you know, if I'm like running low on my other products and I want to use this, that's when I'll use these. So I still have ones from last year because I usually just keep them for travel, but I think this would be a great gift set for the upcoming holidays. Or if you just, like I said, if you're like me, you love it and you know, like this is a formula you'd love to travel with, or, you know, you just want to try the new scents definitely recommend picking this one up and then we also got the new Fenty beauty swirl what is this called this is the i think this is the swirl gloss balm and it has a combination of fussy and then fuchsia flex this is so pretty so what i got intrigued by was riri said because of the swirl uh formulation when you swatch it you're going to get different combinations of the gloss. You can't see it too well in this swatch, but I did it. Um, I did a swatch and application on TikTok, and you could see like two distinctive different shades. And I just loved it. I really enjoyed this. Definitely wanted to pick it up. And if you like the gloss balm formula, this is like a no brainer as well. If you were wondering, I got sent over a fragrance from the company called Define Me Fragrance. And they came out with a Barbie series of fragrance. Um, so thank you, Define Me Fragrance. This smells really, really good. It's a beautiful, sweet fragrance. And I forgot the notes off the top of my head, but I actually really enjoy this. I thought initially this was going to probably smell like maybe kitty light, -like, like, you know, maybe like a young gal's fragrance, but it actually smells really good. It's not too young and too sweet. Um, and I have been enjoying this one. And they sent over a travel size. So I've been using the travel size because why not? So this is what I've been using. But yeah, really, really happy to have this one. They have a Ken version as well. And this, the notes of the Ken one, actually seem pretty intriguing like it seems like it's probably a good unisex fragrance um so i might get my hands on that one just to see how that one smells and pairs with barbie okay we've got another fragrance the seven virtues sent over their candied lychee y'all i think i want to do a full review on this one but here is the fragrance she smells so so good so they say that this is best for positive vibes feeling flirty and boosting energy. Top note is lychee, hard note is peony, and then the base note is vanilla. This smells good, 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 good. If you like a lychee-based fragrance, you will really enjoy this one. So I think I wanna share with you all um, a full dedicated review, um, or maybe if not a dedicated review, like a roundup of fragrances that I have been trying lately and really enjoying. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. We could definitely do that.
Okay, I feel much cleaner <laughs> now that my space is clean. So the last thing I wanna do is talk to you about some things that I purchased in the wee hours of the night this morning. Let me scoot on over so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so, you know, late night shopping gets the best of us sometimes. By the way, I'm using this, I think the brand is called TG, T-I-G-I, -I, Big Bedhead, a hair stick for cool people. Y'all, this hair balm is so good for like laying down the flyaways, um, especially because I have a lot of grain in the front. Girl, don't flyaways be flying and I need them to lay. So I have been using this for a good two weeks now and I love it. Look at that, laid. Can y'all see? Laid. Okay, so first thing I bought was, what did I buy? Let me tell y'all this. I bought, I didn't buy a ton of things, but I guess my purchasing activity was kind of like back to back to back to where my bank said, wait, this looks like suspicious activity and we're gonna have to put a stop on your car. <laughs> I was like, nope, it's me. I'm just up late. So first I saw Sophia, Sophia Sees Beauty. I saw her raving about um, a foundation and y'all know I'm a foundation junkie. So I purchased this Swede, I think it's the Swede Glass Skin Foundation and I just said, well, I love me a good do. I, I, I love a good like satin finish foundation. And I know if Sophia loves it, she's gonna make me a good recommendation. So I purchased that. I got the shade 10N. So I'm really excited to try that. I already got the notification that it has shipped. So we will be playing with that when it comes in. Then next I went on to Ulta. I purchased the Hourglass ambient lighting face palette in the deeper shade and then I got a re-up of the Notorium. I think the name of the product you'll see it here it's the multi-peptide serum I just ran out of that and I absolutely adore it it really helps to I feel keep my skin plump and moisturized and allow for um, those properties in the skin that are going to keep the skin looking youthful and healthy healthy remain in my skin or add to it so definitely wanted to get that again and then um sean and i are going to be traveling next week so i wanted to get a travel size of the of the notorium glow getter body wash because i love that body wash and they have it in a 3.4 ounce size so i was like perfection then we purchased i was on tiktok and tiktok definitely got me on a couple of our purchases so we first purchased the latafa i think the pronunciation is um Om, omgen i know i'm pronouncing that wrong because i can't even remember how the word looks but the the girl was just saying this is the vanilla scent to be had and i said well we're going into these fall winter months and vanilla is such a great fragrance to wear during this time of year. So I was like, we gotta try that. So I got that. And Latafa makes some of the most amazing fragrances that I own. I have one, two, three, four, four from them, five. Like four or five fragrances from them already, obsessed with all of them. So I'm very excited to try this one because I just feel like I'm gonna love it. Then we picked up a hair roller kit. So now the girlies are saying there's a certain way you want to roll your hair to get that like freshly blown out type of look. And I saw Aaliyah's face. Let me tell you, first of all, if my content can look half as good as her content, I would have felt like I have made it in this space of YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Oh my goodness. I will say she was the like the nail in the coffin cherry on top that was like you need to give vlogging a try you need to give vlogging a try because the way she vlogs her content is exactly how i feel like i would vlog my content and how i want to vlog it just like come with me and we're gonna have real time good time great time type of interaction and i was like 
I like the way she does it. I like how I feel when I watch it. And let's give this a try. So thank you, Aaliyah. And so I was watching her content and um, she was talking about this overnight roller set. And before her, I saw someone else using them and she was like, well, I wanted to see if they work well on tape ins and I have tape ins right now. Um, I will link my tape ins down below, but these are 22 inches long. And so I was like, well, I have tape ins too. Let me see how her hair turned out. It turned out fabulous. So I ordered that. I ordered the Grande set because that said it was great for hair that is longer and thicker. And my tape ins, they've got some length to it. And I got the set that comes with the rollers, the scarf, travel bag, and something else. So hopefully that will be here soon. And was that it? We did it. Or I should say we did. Sorry, you know what? I should probably lift this up because like my head is being cut off. I'm just now realizing that. Okay, that's better. Sorry, my head's been cut off. Um, the last thing I got was from Sephora. We picked up the Summer Fridays, I guess this is a holiday kit, in their lip balm. And I thought they would be cute, perfect for traveling because when I travel, I like a smaller size purse. And then I figured I could keep one in my car. I could keep one, you know, like, not like I don't be having lip balms everywhere, but you know, can't have enough. So I wanted to try those. And what else did I get? I think that was it. I think that was it. So yeah, we've got some things to review. I bought some things yesterday that I wanna review with you all. And I'm hoping that this style of content will allow me to be more consistent because it's so laid back. And like, I don't have makeup on. It wasn't the most like, like I mentioned earlier, picture perfect video, but I think this will be a way that I can keep content flowing and be more consistent here because I miss talking to you all and like interacting with you all and um, like just, you know, getting content out that I feel you all deserve to have from me. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your feedback. And that's it guys. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.